everybody. Let's start our morning stretch. We'll start by gently warming up the spine. Look over one shoulder and then the other. And keep looking from side to side. Gradually bringing in your shoulders and start swinging your arms. And work down the spine with a nice little twist, getting a circulation around the spine. And then let your arms swing a little bit more, looking over your shoulder. You can bring your feet into it, one to the side and back to the center. So your arms be really heavy. Have that sense of still lengthening up through your spine. Let your arms swing around. A bit of energy into that body. And then start slowing it down. Still the feet. Not so much with the hips. Rest with the arms. And come back to standing. Do some roll down. So standing with your feet hip width apart. Lengthen up through the spine as you breathe in. And start your roll downs from the top of your neck. Isolate the neck. Then the upper back. Mid back. Keep focused on your spine. Coming all the way down, keep your head heavy, relax, your arms relax. Come down just as much as you feel comfortable. And stay here for a couple of breaths into your back. Keeping grounded through your heels into the ground and lengthened up to the back of your legs. And then scooping your tummy in, keep your shoulders relaxed and away from your ears. Come up from the pelvis only. Get that pelvis tucked all the way around back into neutral and lengthen up through the rest of your spine. Breathing in to lengthen up. Breathing out, roll down from the top of your neck. Isolate the neck. Upper back. Mid back. Coming all the way down again. A couple more deep breaths in here. Into your back. Shoulders stay relaxed, let your head be heavy. And then scooping your tummy in, coming up from the pelvis. Pelvis all the way back to neutral. And the rest of your spine lengthen up. We'll bring the hamstring stretch into the next one. So breathing in to lengthen through your spine. Breathe out, roll your neck down. Up the back. Back, keeping your focus on your spine, one vertebra at a time. And now bend your knees if your hands don't touch the ground, or bend your knees to get a bit more of your hands on the ground, and then slowly and carefully straighten up behind the neck. Keep the knees hip width apart. Be very gentle how you straighten up behind the neck. Do four little knees. Shoulders relax, come on up. All the way around. Lengthening up through your spine, breathing in. Breathe out, roll your neck down again. Just keep rolling down in your own time. Let your head stay heavy, arms relaxed, shoulders relaxed. Bend your knees to get a bit more of your hand on the ground that you can normally reach. And carefully straighten and bend four times. Keep the heels grounded and lengthen your bottom away from your knees. And scooping your tummy in, shoulders relaxed, come up from the pelvis. And we'll do one more roll down, breathing in. Now rolling down. And do your four little knee bends. And then 
bring your hands just off the floor with your legs straight and do some arm circles here. You can do little circles and big circles. The circles are coming from your upper arm in the shoulder socket, not being initiated from the wrist. And then you can reverse. Look at your shoulders, be relaxed, your arms be heavy and relaxed, your head stays relaxed. Continue rolling up from the pelvis. Make them through your spine. Great. Okay, take your legs nice and wide. We'll do the giraffe. Carefully don't stick your bottom up when you take your legs wide. And come forward for the flat back here. So lengthening through your spine. And then as your head and your arms drop down, you will come into a little bit of a roll down. Stay here for a couple of breaths and just get your legs to being as wide as you feel comfortable. Get a nice stretch in your inside thighs. Now don't shift your weight, but turn your body over your left leg. Your right arm comes across, and you take your left arm up to the sky. See if you can see your fingers breathing in here, and then bring your left arm down. Let both arms come back to the center. Just check you haven't shifted your weight onto one leg. And then you take your body over your right leg, your left arm comes across, and you take your right arm up to the side. And then you bring your arm down, come back to the center, rotate your body over your left leg again, right arm holding on to wherever is comfortable. It doesn't have to be by your ankle, it can be by your knee, anywhere where you feel a comfortable stretch, don't overstretch. That arm down, both hands come back to the center, and then again over the right leg. And taking the right arm up as you hold the outside leg with the left. Breathing into the rib cage here, and bring that arm down, both arms back to the center, and we'll do one more each side. So you're wrapping that rib cage around your spine, breathing into the rib cage here. Arm comes down, come back to the center, and once more over the right leg. Bring that nice rotation in the rib cage, and then bring your right arm down, bring both arms back to the center. Stay here for a couple of breaths. You can take your legs a little bit wider and see how much of your arms or your hands or your fingers you can get down onto the ground. Keep your legs straight and get a nice stretch. Bring your feet back a little bit, either all the way back to hip width apart or just wherever you feel comfortable, and then roll yourself back up. Okay, let's do a side lunge. So take your legs wide again. Your feet slightly turned out, but you can adjust your feet when you go into a lunge. Start by lunging by bending your left knee and getting a nice stretch on the inside of your right thigh, uh, adjust your left foot position to whatever is comfortable, and then bring your right arm up and over your head. Your left arm can rest on your thigh, but don't press into it, and reach your right arm over your side and get a nice stretch. You're thinking of lifting that rib cage from the pelvis. Pull your tummy in as you come back to the center, straighten your legs, and now bend your right knee. A nice stretch on the inside of the left thigh, get your right foot positioned where it is comfortable and bring your left arm over your head, reaching the rib cage. You're not bringing the shoulder up to your ear, but you're reaching your rib cage away from your pelvis. Full breath and then pulling your tummy as you come back to the center, straighten your legs, bend your left knee, see if you can a little bit deeper this time, get a bit more of a stretch on the right thigh. Bring your right arm up and over. Resting your arm on your left leg. Stretch, breathing in here. And then breathe out, scoop your tummy in, straighten your legs, come back to the center. And your right knee again, a little bit deeper. Pull the stretch on your left inside thigh. Bring your left arm over and reach 
through your side, keep your shoulders relaxed, and then come back to the center, and we'll do one more each side. Bending the left knee, get a bit more of a stretch in the right inside thigh, bring the right arm over, reach and stretch. Scoop the tummy in as you come back to the center, and we'll do one more over to the right, and bring the left arm over. center and toe heel your way back to the center. Okay. So take your arms out to the side just below your shoulder level and let's do some little circles. Try and keep your body still and just isolate your arms. So we'll do some little circles in this direction and then reverse. Bring your hands on top of your shoulders, bring your elbows together, and do some nice shoulder circles. Try and bring the elbows together, take them back. Shoulders still stay down and relaxed. Do one more in this direction, and then reverse. Bring them up and down. So as your elbows come up, your shoulders still stay down. Now shake your wrists, shake your fingers, shake your arms, so we'll shake them up, shake them out to the side, shake them down, we'll get a bit of energy into the body, all out and around and about. Okay, so let's do some wrist circles, we'll do some circles in one direction. other direction and then clench your fists and flick them wide clench and flick 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 and then touch thumbs to fingers so loosen up those fingers we'll do this three times arms hang down. Let's loosen up our necks, look over one shoulder, come back to the center and over the other shoulder, come back to the center and again over the first shoulder. Keep the shoulders relaxed, the arms by your side, and once more each way. So let's loosen up the hips now, put the hands on the hips, and we'll circle the hips around. Do some nice big circles, keep your tummy scooped in, keep the feet still, and then let's reverse. And then put your hands on your knees, bend your knees. Take your knees in concentric circles, opposite circles. Keep the feet still again. And reverse the circle. Shoulders still staying relaxed. And then standing up. Now bring your feet together. Keep your hands on your knees. And now do some circles, and this is more around the ankle. Do some in this direction, and then reverse. And then come to standing, take your feet back to hip width apart. Lift your right heel and then press through those right toes as you rise up. Drop the right heel and stay stretching with the left toes. And then we'll do walking on the spot. Just rising up and down. Try and keep the hips on a level so you're not 
hitching at the hip. So you use your core, and your spine stays tall, your shoulders and your head relaxed, still breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. You can get a little bit of momentum here. more each side and then come to your feet down. Get your support and balance through your left leg and bring your right knee up ideally in line with your hip and let's do some ankle circles on the right. Have your arms out to the side if you need to keep your balance and then reverse the circle. Scrunch your toes and spread them wide. Scrunch and spread, scrunch and spread, scrunch and spread, scrunch and spread, scrunch and spread. Now with control, drop your right foot. Get your balance back again and now transfer your weight to your right leg as you bring your left knee up in line with the hip and do some ankle circles on the left side. Keeping nice and strong in your supporting leg. Keep your spine nice and Long, always lengthening up through the front of the body so no creases and reverse your ankle circles. And then scrunch your toes and spread them wide. Scrunch and spread, 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 and then drop your foot down. Good. And now come on to your right toe and do some circles around that right toe. So loosening up the toe but also loosening up the ankle. And reverse the circles. And now here stretch the front of your right foot. So you're just stretching through the front. Okay, a good stretch through the front of the ankle and the foot. Let's do the left. So first of all the big toe, circle around the big toe. And reverse. And then one more circle there and then stretch the front of the left foot. So get a really good stretch through the foot and the front of the ankle. And now we'll just do a little bit of balance work, just to loosen up the arches, loosen up the ankles. So bring your heels together. You can do this with your feet apart, but this way you get a little bit of a connection on the inside thigh and also into the buttock. So if you find this difficult, then just keep your feet hip width apart. So take a breath in. As you breathe out, rise onto your toes. Try and keep those heels together. Breath in here and then with control keep those big toes down, roll down through the ball of the foot, the arch of the foot and when your heel lands do a little bend. The knees stay over the big toe and breathe in, straighten your legs, breathe out, rise onto your toes. Stay here as you breathe in and as you breathe out with control roll down through the ball of the foot, the arch of the foot and the heel and do a little bend. You don't lean forward when you bend, you just sit straight down. Straighten the legs, rising onto the toes, breathing in here. Lovely breath of fresh air. And then roll down through your feet. And when the heels are down, bend. We'll do one more like this. Breathe in, straighten your legs. Breathe out, rise onto your toes. Stay here, reaching up as high as you can on your toes. Keep those heels squeezed together. Shoulders stay relaxed and roll down through your feet. When your heels are down, a little bend. So now we will do something with our feet hip width apart. So bring your feet, heels back to where they were. Take a breath in. And as you breathe out, rise onto your toes. So stretch up on those toes. Stay here for a breath in. And then with control, don't let the toes come off. Pull the foot, the arch of the foot and the heel. And when the heel is down, you do a little bend. Even as the heels come down, try not to let the toes come 
officer rising up again. Do three more of these. Breathing in, stretch up, get your balance, and then roll down through your feet without the toes coming off. Use those big toes. A little bend. Breathing to straighten your legs, breathe out to rise onto your toes. Stay here, lovely stretch, reaching tall, lengthen through the crown of your head, and then roll down through your feet. The heels are down a little bend. And we'll do one more breathing to straighten. Up, stretch here, and then rolling down through your feet when the heels are down a little bit. Okay, so now bring your right leg forward, bend your left knee, and take your body over your right leg, just as far down or as little as you're just getting a good stretch through the back of the right leg. And if you want here, you can bring your toes off and hold on to wherever feels comfortable. Let your head be heavy and just relax your body over your right leg, getting a good stretch. So keep straight behind the right leg. Couple more breaths here. And then your toes down, tuck your pelvis under as you roll yourself back up and bring your right leg back. Take your left leg forward and bend your right knee. And now take your body over your left leg, wherever you can reach. You can bring your toes up and hold on to your toes. Your head be heavy, relax your shoulders, and just get a good stretch in the back of your left leg. Couple more breaths here. Bring your toes down, tuck your pelvis under. Spine, roll your spine up and bring your left leg back. Get your support through your left leg and we'll do a quad stretch on the right. So bring your knee up so you can take hold of the front of your ankle. Keep your knees together at all times. And bring your knees back, the hips stay to the front, the spine stays tall. You can take your knee behind even better. Bring your arm out to the front. Just get a good stretch. The, stretch, the focus of the stretch is on the right thigh. So the balance isn't such an important thing, it's an extra thing here. But just get a stretch through the right thigh. So if necessary, just keep your knees together, hips to the front. And then with control, release that. Get your weight and support and balance through your right leg. Bring your left knee up so you can reach the front of your ankle. Don't twist your hips as you take your knees behind. Either keep them together, hips to the front, spine back tall, or you can take the knee behind and just bring your arm forward a bit. Make a good stretch, reach that knee away from you, and then come back and with control get your weight down and balance through the feet. Okay, let's do a final sort of bit of a loosening up. So, we're going to breathe in, bring your arms up and breathe out, circle them round. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Reach your arms up, shoulders stay down, reach them out to the side. Once more this way and then let's relax. Breathing in and breathe. way and uh, now we're going to just swoop up lots of nice deep breaths so breathing in rise onto your toes breathing out swoop and breathing out breathing in and breathing in and, and once more and and now let's just shake like a dog just shake your head shake your arms your wrists Shoulders, just really get a buzz into your body. Just your knees, your hips. No one around to see you, just let yourself go. Oh, just get a real bit of sense of energy into the body. Good day ahead of us. And thank you very much indeed.